Once upon a time, there was a boy named Liam. And every summer, Liam would go to summer camp in the woods. Every time he got to camp, he would always look up at the trees and just be amazed at how big and tall and strong they look. He always wished he could climb up them, but they were just way too big and he just didn't have the right shoes to climb. He didn't know how to do it. And one day when he was at camp, he found himself feeling kind of sad. He wasn't even sure why he was sad, but something just didn't feel right and he didn't know what to do. So he went out into the woods and he sat down and leaned up against one of the trees and just hung his head there. And after sitting there for a few minutes, he thought he felt something start to move behind him. And he even thought he heard a voice. It was very slow and very low. It said, What's wrong, Liam? Are you okay? And then Liam looked around and thought to himself, Did I just hear somebody talk to me? What was that noise? He waited there for a while and looked around, but he didn't hear anything else. So he just hung his head there again. And a few minutes later, he heard another voice. I'm not sure what's wrong with him. I don't know how we can cheer him up. And then Liam lifted his head and he looked around again and he thought, I know I just heard a voice. What was that? And so he shouted, Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? And very slowly, a voice responded. Hello yourself, Liam. And he looked up. And what he saw was something he couldn't even believe. The tree that he was leaning up against was bending over, looking right at him. And the tree said, What's wrong, Liam? Why do you look so sad? And Liam said, I didn't know trees could talk. You're alive. And then another tree leaned over and said, how can we help you feel better, Liam? How can we cheer you up? Liam said, boy, I don't know you guys. It's really nice of you to think of me, but I'm not really sure what's going to make me feel happier. I still can't believe I'm talking to a bunch of trees right now. And the trees all went. <laughs> 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 and then at this point, a really tall and skinny tree leaned in and said, I know how we can cheer Liam up. We can play catch with him. And Liam said, oh, okay, so you mean you want me to like throw a ball to you or something? And the tree said, well, not exactly. And then he picked up Liam by the ankle and threw him to the other tree. And Liam went flying through the air. <laughs> The trees didn't want to play catch with Liam. They wanted to play catch with Liam, like Liam was the ball. And so they threw Liam back and forth and back and forth. And at first, Liam was terrified. But after a few minutes, he realized it was actually really fun. I mean, who gets to get thrown around by a bunch of trees like this? And the trees were really nice. They were trying to cheer him up and get him to smile again. And he was smiling now. <laughs> and then he said, oh, trees, how high do you think you can throw me? Could you throw me all the way to the moon if you wanted to? And the tree said, hmm, well, I've never thrown a boy up to the moon before, but there's a first time for everything. And so that tree started spinning Liam around and around and around, and then he threw Liam as hard as he could. And Liam flew so high in the air, he was higher than an airplane. He didn't quite touch the moon, but still, he was way up there. And then he flew all the way back down to the ground right when he was about to smash into the ground. The tree grabbed Liam by his shoelace and he was just fine. And Liam said, wow, you guys, this is the best night I've ever had. Thanks for cheering me up. 
And then Liam ran back to his cabin and told all his friends, You guys, I just got thrown around by a bunch of trees. It was the most fun I've ever had in my whole life. You got to come see this. And so all of his friends were like, really? Okay, let's do it. And they followed Liam back out to the trees. And Liam said, hey, trees, do you want to play catch with me and my friends? And they sat there and all they heard was crickets. The trees didn't do anything. They didn't respond at all. And then Liam's friends were like, Liam, are you trying to trick us? These trees don't look like they can play catch with us. That's it. We're going back to the cabin. And so the friends turned around and started walking back to the cabin. And Liam said, no, no, wait, guys, hang on. And then he turned around to the trees and said, trees, why aren't you responding? You're making me look bad. Come on. And then right before Liam's friends walked into their cabin, every last one of them got picked up by a tree and they threw the friends up in the air. And Liam's friends were screaming their heads off because they were terrified. They couldn't believe Liam was actually telling the truth. Liam said, see guys, isn't this fun? And they were just screaming because they didn't know what was going on. But after a few minutes, just like Liam, they came around and they realized it was actually a lot of fun. And they played with the trees all night long. And it was the most fun they had ever had. And every summer when they would come back to camp, they knew exactly where to go and exactly which trees would always be there to cheer them up. But then one day when Liam was walking by the trees, there was a truck full of woodcutters, men with huge chainsaws who were going to cut the entire forest down unless somebody did something to stop them. But that's a story for another day.